that that way they can see that we've uh, got an old shed been here about 20 years it's brick built so it's okay but what's been happening roof's been leaking it's just got a bit of felt on the top really which isn't very good and substantial and over the years it's been leaking and of course it's making all the all the floor wet so Marlene Sam the woodwork man's been drafted in to take this old roof off and, and put a new roof on um, and then we might also do a new floor with the looks of it but we'll see how we go see how the money goes for the customer you see what we're up against I've just started to prise off the old roof taking all the fascias off and uh, I'm going to work my way around take all that off and then uh, we'll take some of the roof off and put some new on try and keep it dry as we do it so we'll come back and show you what we're doing as and when we go yeah so that's the job for the next couple of weeks i think hopefully it'll look a bit better when we've done but yeah it's a bit of a mess at the moment yeah i think it was probably about 40 years ago now this was built so it's uh it's not done bad over the years anyway catch you later yeah so got all that front face off now look whether you you can see it now i've got that off it looks uh, as if it's had one roof on top of another over the years up you can see the old roof and then there's another joist on top with another roof on top of that so i don't know how many i thought they were going to put on to do it but like a block of flats down they've done i think but anyway we'll take all this lot off down to the brickwork and then we'll start again with a new roof so yeah so I'm just gonna get my ladders up and get on the roof now and prise all the faces off all the way around and then uh, see how we go catch you later yeah so started tech top roof off now I got all the faces off yesterday and we can see problem there look I mean it's gone gone right in there it's still got water line on it tread on that it goes straight through it so got my ladder and plank on spanning from wall to wall so uh, that keeps me safe if I stand on there and using the old reciprocating saw just to uh, cut it off in slices and then cart it down and then we've just got the underneath roof which was the original one to take off so we get in there it's a slow process but uh, best to do it in bits like this and don't have any accidents so we'll catch you when we've done a bit more Yeah, so we started putting the new roof on now. I've been here two or three hours and been knocking the other roof through. As you can see, I've just got the 6x2 treated timber joist on there. So uh, I'm going to put a fur inch strip on now, like I have on that one, that whether you can see. It goes from half inch to uh, three inch almost, so gives it a bit of a fall. And I've got my waterproof OSB board on. Just got to put a ripping on the end there, finish it off. So yeah, it's coming on. Get this board on in a minute, and we've done what? I don't know, about eight foot of it then. We've probably got another 12 foot to go. So it's gradually coming on, fixing that them joists to that internal stud in, and resting them on the bricks there. So everything will be fine. I'm going to put a face around to trap it all on, and the uh, bitumen corrugated felt on top so we'll come back when we start doing a bit of that see you later yeah so you can see that now I've started putting all sheets on so they've done quite well today done about eight ten foot of it probably just under half really I've got to protrude the rest of it out you'll see uh, so we've got a bit of a shelter to sit under in the summer so uh, that's the first stage so it's all covered up now, ready for the storm tomorrow because the forecast 90 mile an hour wind so hopefully it's nailed on enough but yeah, it's looking alright I think taking shape, looks like we know what we're doing so we'll uh, crack on, tidy up and come back another day yeah so here we are following week did that bit last week and now uh, I've just been taking bit more of the roof off, about another four foot off there so I'll get that bit back on now with the joist 
And what I'm going to do is uh, keep it flush at the back. I'm going to overhang it probably about three or four foot on the front end so uh, they can sit under it in the hot sun because the customer's 93 now, you see. So I'm getting on that way anyway. So um, we don't like the blazing sun. So we've got a swing there in the, in the garden and we've got to protrude this roof over. I used to have one of them awnings that come out here but uh, she can't wind that out anymore um, so uh, what we're going to do is, is overhang that I'll show you as we do it so I'll get some of these joists cut and we can fix them to that internal studding and then I'm going to put another wall plate around the inside and make it a bit more secure when it's done and uh, just to cantilever this bit that's going to overhang uh, yeah so uh, yeah, it's coming on got a nice day for it today sun's out so uh, crack on and catch you later yeah, so you can probably see that now. I've got about uh, four foot or so overhang, which is going to make a nice sort of canopy. I'm going to extend that right the way the rest of the roof, obviously. So, still got a bit more to do yet, but you can see that's coming there. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll just show you on the top in a minute how far we've got. Just to uh, get up the ladder. Yeah, so you can see. That's uh, real fun, you can see how it's starting to overhang there, look. It's got a bit more to put on the end, the, uh, the bitumen corrugated uh, felt there. So, and then I'll get another row on, and I'll probably call it a day there. Might just take a bit more of this old roof off, ready for the next time. And yeah, we're making progress now. So, I'll finish nailing that on, and I'll catch you next time. There you can probably see I'm upstairs back bedroom window now just looking out onto the roof and you can see the overhang I've just about done it now really it's just about another three or four foot to go but yeah I think it's gonna look alright I've got fascias and that put around yet that guttering on back we we'll get in there now so I'll catch you later so we just put the final bit of roof on today the last four foot's just worked out for sheets actually so that was handy um, yeah, we've got about an inch and a half overhang there, so it's just right. So I've got it all on there, just got two or three more nails to put in. And the uh, the new roof's on then, we've just got to then do all the fascias and the gutterings and noggings inside just to tie it all together. Uh, but yeah, we've got the uh, we've got the bulk of it on now, so if it rains at least it'll, it'll all run off and uh, we'll just get the rest of it finished as and when. Okay, we'll catch you later. Oh, just looking inside then, now we've got all roof on, so it's all pretty much waterproof now obviously. Um, around the back there we've got to put the faces on and the gutter in, that's why we can still see daylight there and the same on the front up there. But uh, yeah, we've got it all on, it's all nice and dry, good solid roof that, quite pleased with it. So uh, just been clearing out all the old junk off the floor. We're going to have to put a new floor in at some point, probably wait till the spring for that. No great rush because the shed's not really used, but just want to keep it ticking over for her. So yeah, there we are. So all I've got to do now, I've just started there, putting some nogs in between the joists just to uh, tie it all together. So we'll carry on doing that next week. Uh, and then I'll put a wall plate along that to that back wall there just to uh, tie all the beams to the studded wall because there's a studded wall over here look you can see that's dropped down about four inch so I'm going to jack that one back up and and tie that that's because the beams under the floors rotted so that's dropped down here so um, I'm going to do that as well I think jack that up and tie it up and then next spring we might put a new floor in and reboard the walls so it all looks nice and tidy but we'll We'll see how we go. So that's where we're up to. Uh, probably be back next week and do a bit more. We'll show you that when we've done it. Okay, catch you later. Yeah, so I've just finished putting all them nogs in. You can probably just see that. Got two rows there and two... Well, they're staggered, but there's two rows in all. So they've got two nogs in between each joist all the way along. So they're all in there. Uh, put the wall plate across the back. Screwed that to the wall and also up to all the... The joist just to hold it secure. I'm just going to do that back wall. I don't know if you can remember that had all dropped in because the floor's gone. Well, you can see 
now I've lifted it all up, lifted the floor, sorry, lifted the wall up and uh, put it back into the place where it should be. So when I put that wall plate on and screw it to the roof, it's all going to hold it securely. But then I think we're going to come back in the spring and uh, probably look at doing the floor because uh, there's no great rush to do it at the moment. But we've got the roof on there and it's all dry and secure. So I've just got them last bits of wall plate to put on. Um, and I've just been doing the fascia outside on there so you can see I've done all that uh, across the front and then we've got the nice overhang so in the summer she can sit under there and she'll be out in the sun and have a lunch and what have you so I've just got that bit of fascia to put on there as you can see there's a the gap where the furring strips are so that's what the idea of that top fascia is just to cloak that off and that'll all be nice and then I'll show you around the back we've put the guttering up along the back there as you can see hopefully and that's all done and it just goes into that water butt so she collects the rain water to water the garden so we've got a nice solid roof on there uh, should last another hundred years or more We'll just see what happens. Yeah, I think it's looking looking quite nice now. We're gonna give it all a coat of white uh, fencing paint just to uh, so it's all treated timber, so even if you didn't uh, paint it it wouldn't really matter, but just to whiten it up and then underneath there. Contemplating whether to board that with some tongue and groove or to leave it like that for a and uh, where the beams come over and we've got those uh, gaps she's on about putting some artificial flowers in there that hang down so it's just one idea we're going to look at if not they might in the spring come back and board that underneath for a uh, but nevertheless i'm going to paint it all white for now just to brighten it up and make those beams uh, look all right so there we go smiling sam the woodwork man meets another challenge and we'll catch you next time